Hey everybody and welcome back to the vlog. This is going to be a really exciting video as you've already seen the thumbnail and the title of the video. But before we get to that, let's talk a little bit about what we're doing here with the mobile suites and how we're managing in the winter. Yes, we're staying very warm and very cozy in this unbelievably awesome mobile suites DRV 38 foot fifth wheel. As many RVers will know, this comes with the two 40 pound tanks, uh, propane giving you a total of 80 pounds of propane, which doesn't last very long. So what I did was I purchased two external 100 pound tanks. So I've got a total of 280 pounds worth of propane that I can fill up at one time. When I purchased the RV, it already had an external connector to it, so I'm running a line outside to those two tanks. And when one empties, I unscrew it and put the other one in. Now you could hook them both up at the same time and let them run out, but I just did it the simple way and ran a line. If you're interested in this, just check your numbers. Make sure to get an RV specific propane regulator. And on mine, I've got an actual tank fill indicator to let me know when it's empty or when I've got you know, propane in it. It's not exactly perfect science. It's, <laughs> it's not, but it's a little better than nothing, right? It's a two-stage regulator, ran about a, I don't know, 25-foot line, and uh, the rest is history. So our propane heater is more than powerful enough to keep us warm in there. We can run it anywhere from uh, 72 if we wanted to. Typically we're running it at about 67 right now and staying very comfortable in that, in that temperature range. At night we put it down to about 62. It seems to work just fine. What I love about the mobile suites, and probably a lot of fifth wheels are like this, but certainly this one, that huge bay underneath is actually where the heater is itself. So you get the radiant heat from the heater box, the furnace, and you also have air ducting running down to your bay area. So I've had no freezer issues whatsoever with my lines under here all winter long. And it's been down to, I know about negative one already. And uh, we just had absolutely no issues. I do have a heated hose, a heated water line running from my water source to the fifth wheel itself. And uh, that thing for three years plus has given me no issues whatsoever. It's outstanding. It's the only way you can make it with water in the winter is get yourself a heated hose. You could do it yourself, heat the hose with the heat tape, but why bother? Just wanted to kind of give a quick update on how we're doing in the winter in this fifth wheel and uh, it's really user friendly and very, very livable. Now, the Mobile Suites brand is the only one in the industry that puts a three and a quarter inch sidewall on the coach itself. It's the same thickness also in their slides. So it's a overly insulated fifth wheel. And they say that at any one time, Mobile Suites might be selling as many as 50% of their units to Canada. Well, there's a reason for that because Canadians need the extra insulation. And so do Mainers, by the way. Uh, some parts of Canada is, is south of Maine, so anyway. We're in the middle of a blizzard, a nor'easter here in Maine, and it is absolutely piling on like crazy. It's supposed to snow throughout the day and maybe even into the night. We could get as much as a foot or more of snow. We've probably already got about six inches. Uh, we're staying warm and cozy. I got everything set up and prepared. We've got a generator ready in case we lose power. Maine typically loses power, so I'm not going to be too surprised if we do lose power. We're ready for it. We've got plenty of propane. We're ready for the winter storm to hit. But uh, I just want to show you around some, let you see what we're dealing with up here. It's about eight degrees outside. I'm quite toasty and warm right now because I've got all these layers of clothes on. But let me show you around. As you may be able to tell, that's the road. 
We really are getting hammered. This might be the worst storm I've been in here in Maine in the five years I've lived here. Seems like it's a different world inside the motorhome than outside, so let's go inside. It froze. What froze? It froze to the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that really just happened. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Whoa. I can't get... Daddy! What? I can't do it! Yeah, you can! Mm. Oh my lord. Y'all, that's up to my knee. <laughs> Come on! Yeah, I can't, I can't. Ah. <laughs> <Daddy>. <laughs> Okay, let's get your glove back on. That's a lot of snow, bro. <coughs> All right, here we go. We're gonna put you on your feet. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Look at all the snow. Whoa. That don't do it. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep walking. Come on this way. Look at the snow bank, buddy. It's a snow drift. Is this cool? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> They're getting heavier and heavier every day. And trucking in snow is not easy. Woo! Certainly have had a wonderful experience so far in the fifth wheel. It's treated us so good. And anytime you have a home that treats you as good as this does, you really appreciate it, right? Because you have family, you have children, you want to make sure they're warm and, and fed and cared for and so forth. So yeah, I'm really proud of it. Really proud of our purchase. Uh, looking forward to getting a home one day, probably soon, maybe in the next year or so. I might want to keep this, I don't know. This would be hard to let go.